So this is also potentially a segue into uh, Ravi, but um, where you've got the universities down there and talking about the technical skills that are available for scale-ups coming to Europe to the third largest fintech uh, specialist, third best, third best, best fintech yeah. specialist area. Yeah. So um, Ravi, maybe you could uh, give us a little bit of background on how come we've got all these technical skills in Northern Ireland. Yeah, sure. Um, look, education uh, in, in Northern Ireland, both secondary and tertiary, has, has been key over the past um, past few years in terms of developing the this, this talent within technology. Um, Queen's in particular um, has a huge drive um, within kind of STEM uh, subjects. Uh, they, they have a, a, a um, highly renowned uh, applied cybersecurity uh, master's degree where they've, they've recently just provided 40 full fully paid scholarships in 2019. Um, they've recently partnered with uh, Japan's latest uh, telecoms provider to create a, um, a computing edge hub in, in, in Belfast. Uh, and this just gives you kind of an example of, of the um, drive towards technology. Um, I also think it's important to, to mention the secondary uh, education system in Northern Ireland, which is often, often overlooked. Um, uh, just to give you an example, it's, uh, consistently uh, within the secondary education system, Northern Ireland excels and, and delivers above average um, A-level grades. Um, and a lot of the companies now are taking advantage of this. So PwC, for example, have a school leavers program uh, where they take uh, uh, school leavers that, that have achieved high, high, um, high grades that don't necessarily want to go to university and provide uh, training, specified training across uh, various kind of technologies, so cybersecurity, for example, uh, AI analytics. Um, we've actually hired someone recently from this program, and they, you know, th their their knowledge was second to none uh, after have, going through the um, the program for two years. Um, sorry, going back to the, the the tertiary education system as well. Um, the likes of of some of our big global clients have uh, strong ties with Queens. Uh, as a kind of feeder system into their their, their graduate program, um, and many of them are taking part in the short skills program for with um, with Invest in I as well, where where you know they can kind of be uh, their skills can be honed in in terms of various technologies. Okay, thank you. I mean, maybe we should bring up the uh, overview of the. Should we do that now? Well, I'm, ju I'm just thinking, um, Andrew, maybe this is something you can comment on. Uh, I know one of the my observations when I go back to Northern Ireland is the very close collaboration uh, between uh, the universities, as Ravi was talking about, um, and the sector and government. Uh, what, what are your observations as the um, uh, FinTech envoy? Yeah, so, I mean, as, as you rightly pointed out, um, and Ravi touched on it as well, you know, Queen's uh, Queen's and specifically, but not exclusively, um, the the Centre for Secure Information Technology is, you know, again a a world renowned leader around around cyber security technology. Um, and then at Ulster University, uh, you you've got you've got uh, the Cognitive Analytics Research Lab, so it's developing solutions around big data and analytics. So you have you have this because we're a relatively small a small place. Um, it's not it's not always it's not really too difficult to to bring the right people around the table and get things done. So there is there is a there is a you know a, a strong collaboration between between the the um, academic sector and industry. And I, I suppose a, a really good case in point is is the work that has happened between Ulster University um, and some of the the large financial services companies in Northern Ireland, including Allstate, to develop um, a fintech uh, a fintech degree program, and it's built around an apprenticeship model. Um, so uh, the, 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 the students coming onto this program spend four, four days out of five days actually working um, in a financial services or a fintech company and then they spend the fifth day um, at, at university or probably virtually um, as, it, <laughs> as it is these days um, doing, their, doing their seminars and their lectures. But the really important thing there is it was co-designed and it was co-designed because the, the universities recognize that um, they need to build the skills of the future, and in order to do that, they have to really ha understand um, what those skills of the future need. So, really, um, a really good example of of strong collaboration there between between universities and um, and academia. And we're seeing that similar models emerge in the northwest of the province as well between 
uh, Letter Kenny Institute of Technology, which is just across the border in Donegal, but working with Northern Ireland based um, financial services and fintech companies as well. Okay, and that's really very interesting. Because well, it just shows what can happen when yeah. uh, the, the sector and government and yeah. the institutions can work together. That's yeah. fascinating. So, I mean, if you're a Australian or New Zealand startup, scale up, and you're going out there, and you, you can participate, you know, you can have these young people that are probably not as expensive. Maybe we come to the costs now, Ravi. 